In this task, we're going to add labels for both the countries and proportional symbols. The countries will be labeled with their names in white in all capital letters, and their proportional symbols will be labeled with the number of IDPs or refugees that they represent in black. We're going to create the country labels first. So in the layers panel, I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to name this map labels. And I'm going to make sure that's added all the way at the top of my layer list. So I'm going to keep hitting the up button until it's all the way up to the top. Now I'm going to use the uh, text tool from the toolbox and I'm going to uh, click on the map and uh, we're going to start labeling countries. And so we'll start with labeling Turkey. And so I'm going to label Turkey again all in caps. And now that I have that selected, I can use the text and font tool and I can set the font to Arial. I'm going to set the size to 18. And I want uh, and hit apply. And now I want the fill color to be white. So to do that, I can click down here on the uh, palette, and that turns the label into a white label for me. And so I can say place that uh, here or wherever I'd like to have it. And so now I'm going to label all of the other countries, uh, and I'm going to pause the video so you don't see me do the, follow the exact same steps again. So I'll be right back. And here we are. I've zoomed in on the map, and you can see I've now placed all of my uh, labels on the map in white. And so now I'm going to label the proportional symbols with the following properties. Uh, so let me get my text tool here, and let's start with, uh, say, the Syria one. So I'm going to type in 6.5 million with an asterisk uh, there. And I want to set the properties on this one uh, to be Arial, oh, sorry, wrong panel there, text and font. Uh, so we're going to again go with Arial font. And for the font size, we're going to go with 32. And the font color is already black, so I don't have to worry about that. And so the Syria uh, IDP label is going to be different from all the others. So for those, let me show you one of those. So let's do, say, Lebanon's. I'm going to click, and the refugee population is uh, 980,731. And I'm going to set its text and font properties again to Arial font. And the font size for this one I want to have as 22. I'm going to apply that and place it roughly here. And uh, so Lebanon, Turkey, and Jordan will all be at 22 point font. Uh, Iraq will be at 16, and Egypt will be at 12. That way, it all they all fit within the circles. So I'm going to uh, do that and be right back with you. Okay, and now we have all of our uh, proportional symbols and countries labeled. And so the last step is to um, align the proportional symbol layer, layer uh, proportional symbol labels to the center of each symbol, and then readjust the locations of the country names if required. And so I'm going to demonstrate how to align serious purple proportional symbol la uh, label and symbol. And so in the uh, layers panel, I'm going to need to unlock the proportional symbols layer. So I'm going to scroll down here to proportional symbols. And I'm going to select the purple proportional symbol first, hold down the shift key on my keyboard, and then select the label of 6.5 million. And it's important that you select in that order because when I open up the align and distribute panel, for relative to, I'm going to say first selected. So I want to hold the first selected as the anchor and move everything else relative to that. I will then choose the align to vertical axis and align to horizontal axis. Um, and so following that, uh, you should align all other proportional symbol labels to the center of the proportional symbol. I'm going to do that now. All right, so with all our proportional symbol labels, uh, centered, I can now move any other labels that I think may be crowding them. So maybe Lebanon's, I can move uh, over to the right a little bit to let people know that this is the country. Iraq looks good, Jordan, Israel, uh, Egypt. Uh, maybe I should kind of center that above just a little bit. I guess something like that would look good. Uh, let's see, Turkey, maybe up here just a little bit. And so that looks good to me. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and relock all of my layers. And that would complete my proportional symbol map design.